I've been out on the river. I've been out here about an hour and a half. Found all the stuff and other stuff. I'm not even going to include like end scrapers and stuff like that. But before you watch the video, I show you a lot of stuff in this one. Go down and read the article that I posted in the description of this video. Read it first. Kind of let it sink in and then come up and watch the video. I hope you enjoy folks. You'll learn something here. Right here, I've been taking pictures for the cover image. Um, this is Fire Rock, you can see it. The whole article will be down in the description. I'll just, you can just read the whole article right below this video uh, on, way more in depth on this and, you know, I'm finding artifacts around it. This is just an amazing place. Look at the rest of it tumbling down the bank. I hope this explains it to you. There shouldn't be anything left up to the imagination now. You people should get this. You should be on your way to finding artifacts like I am. If you do what I'm doing here and listen to me, you're going to find more artifacts than you've ever found in your life. I can guarantee it if you're on the higher river. I can show you how to find stuff on land too, but other people do that and I don't want to cut into their stuff. But this is where I look. That's what I'm looking for. Fire pits. See this here? That's a little flake, I think. Yeah, it is. It's a little, a little finishing flake of chert right there. Right here. Cracked up reddened rock. Right here. Multiple fractures can tell it's fired look at all of it here's more look at this red cracked up rock this is it right here Re water's just recently been over this look at the you can tell this rock is red from being fired and read the article see it the cracking to it where the water's boiled off look here i got an artifact back here it's probably nothing great but look for the fire rock we found it See it coming out and the rock coming down? This is an ancient Indian settlement. This is the evidence of it right here, the stone that's left. I'm looking up on here to see if I see anything else. This is an old site. There was people here a long, long, long time ago. But right here, I thought it was a leaf. You see this leaf here? I touched it and see some kind of it's a blade it's the store it's a preform see how it's got the platforms on the side see the platforms here they were working off of boy that would have made a nice point you can kind of you can get into the flint napping part of this too that's a preform for probably you know a little kirk and amos same material look at that platform right there see how they were making these things pushing these flakes off this platform here by pressure see it you can even see where the tool grabbed the piece of stone see it here boom pressure flake and it could even have been percussion on that i would use percussion on that but it could be pressure i'm doing screens and i'm right up in here and the first screen i saw some fire rock started scooping it up and i got a three point and right there's a little flake of chert but right here that's an odd point it's fire popped and it's stemmed it's an odd point for this site. It's all just, it looks like a field grade. It's been in a fire. Right, right by that fire pit I showed you. Um, you see there's still lots of it in my screen. Right here's more evidence of human activity. This is actually kind of nice the way it's made. Um, see it's a river cobble. See it just looks like a pebble. It's a river cobble chert. Now see how it's all worked? It's a little knife. See it there? That's the cutting edge. It's not, it would have had that cutting edge and then they could use that top too and it has use on it. It's not a preform, that's just a little tool. They were cutting cordage or something with that. That's cool. The average person looking at that on the ground right there would just not even look at it. Wouldn't even catch their eye. Just looks like a rock. And it is just a rock, but it's been manipulated by ancient hands. And right there it is. It's a little tool right there's the edge that they chipped on it pretty interesting huh when you look at it that way here's the base clay the banks here 
all the occupations in time back to let's say 15,000 years ago everybody that was here everything that's here is on top of that base clay this is the base of all the dirt that was on it it's got eroded away now we're touching the layers of occupation in here there was fire pits laying right in here right on the base clay see you're not really digging a hole because you can't the stuff's laying and sliding down the base clay then it gets to the river and washes away and see the evidence of the fire rock like i showed earlier i've been scooping that stuff up and i got an amos point and you know this is a good find because this is what i collect and this is what i'm looking for this is just how i saw it i don't know if the tips on it i saw it in my screen in the water and it's an amos because i'm on an amos site let's see oh man it's a drill it's an Amos tape drill. Look at that. You could even call it a perfect. Oh man, that's nice. That's nice. That is super. It's got a real ground base. The notches will be even more polished. See what I mean? Results. Every day. Laid out. All right, here's this little tape drill. It's really nice. It's like a perforator. See how easy it is to get this stuff around them fire pits. This video is probably one of my best if you want to find arrowheads. Because it's everything. It's how I'm finding this stuff. Later. Alright, you see all this stuff in this video with the cortex on it. Look at this piece that I talked about in here. See the cortex here? It's a little river cobble. This is all river cobble chert. Almost every point that I find, find even the Coshocton stuff that I say is Upper Mercer. It's Upper Mercer in cobble form that's in river gravels. It's not from Coshocton County, Ohio. It's not. There's other outcroppings of it. It's a common stone in geological layers in Ohio. There's just more sources of it that are unknown. And I know where a couple of them are. They're not documented anywhere that I know of that it's occurs a lot in gravel what's some of this stuff you know that looks like on and dog it's hurt it's even got that kind of lower quality stuff in it and some of it's even got that oily feel to it just like on and doga but there you go it's all river cobble church here on the river all of it this is this is you know look just like that preform right there that little piece is made out of something just like that this is just another stage of it. Do you get it? This video should help you all. Later. All right, here's some more stuff from the whole middle row. This point, this point. The, all of this stuff on the bottom row except this came from where I found the perforator today. And this drill, pretty close to where I found the perforator. Same with this Amos point. All of this stuff in the middle this is related to this to this to these two pieces and this and this not this that doesn't belong but you see what i'm i'm and we'll get into more of this stuff later but look at these amos points that one's got a little barb damage but man in this last drill i found the video i found this i found it laying out this month that's a beauty this one was laying out. These are pretty scarce point types. Later.